You can purchase Executor Nandex, Executor CK3i and CK3i to Nandex update cable from our website. Simply go to gc repairscom On your left you'll see Xbox 360 Fat and Xbox 360 Slim categories. Uh, they are available in both the categories. So for this exercise I'll just show you uh, the Xbox 360 Slim category. Simply click on the plus sign and then click on Development Tools. On your right you'll see uh, we'll have a wide range of executor uh, tools available. Scroll down to the bottom here we have executor CK3i and CK3i to the index update cable. If you don't wish to uh, do the upgrade yourself that's okay we have an index pre-programmed completely free service for you available uh, so be sure to check it out. Game console repairs. In this video, I'll be showing how to update Nandex to version 3 code using CK3i and CK3i update cable. Uh, simply, we'll just uh, do the connection setup here. So, connect this into your CK3i. That's connected, and the other end goes in here. So that's the connection setup. Connect a USB cable, then the other end goes to the PC USB port, and we'll be using Flash Magic Utility in order to update to the latest uh, V3 code. All right, that's our CK3i connected with the Molex. Uh, we have connected a USB cable. The other end is on the PC USB port. Uh, Nandex is connected via Nandex to CK3i update cable. So that's the whole connection setup. Okay, now that we have connection setups are done, the very first step we need to do is we need to install the CK3i drivers. Uh, simply go to, I've already installed it actually. Uh, simply uh, grab these files, go to your device manager and scan for hardware changes. You'll receive a pop-up message. Uh, then simply go install from a specific location and give this these files and it would automatically install the CK3i drivers for you. Once installed uh, you'll get uh, under COM ports executor CK3i USB controller make a note of your COM port uh, we have here is COM7 uh, next step is open up flash magic utility uh, copy these settings these are the settings that you need to have uh, in order to update your Nandex to V3 um, LPC 2148 COM port is COM7 and just uh, copy all these settings exactly as is uh, check this box next is uh, provide the V3 hex file it's located under NAND Pro 3A folder so simply give that next uh, keep this checked uh, verify after programming that's it uh, simply press on start and you'll see that uh, it will start updating our NAND X to V3 okay it's uh, connecting and it's trying to okay it's programming and updating the NAND X to V3 Once complete, uh, you'll see a message uh, at the bottom, finished. Uh, there's a small test you can conduct to see whether your Nandex is uh, successfully updated. Uh, the test is, once it's all finished, disconnect it from the CK3i. Uh, grab a USB cable and connect it to your USB port. If you see red and yellow, or red, or green lights on your Nandex that means it's updated successfully if you only see the red light then you have to do this process again uh, until you know it's it's properly flashed okay it's finished uh, it says finished programming and it's had pretty much updated the Nandex to the v3 code 
Alright, once the programming is finished, uh, let's do a quick test to see if our NANX is updated properly. Uh, power off your CK3i, disconnect the cable, uh, grab a USB cable and connect your NANX to your PC USB port. Okay, you're seeing a red and a yellow light which means the index has been updated to v3 code if you see red and green light that's fine as well that's one of the latest models uh, if you only see red and that means you have to do the flashing again so, uh, in this case we have successfully updated the index to v3 that's it thanks for watching the videos please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need thank you